What is Set's best design ability? Now, Set's been a very dividing bruiser since his release because his kit walks the fine line between simple and 200 years. People who play Set only see his weaknesses, whereas AAC mains only can think of that true damage nuke of his W. But whether he's sitting at a 47% win rate or a 55% win rate, his abilities still remain the same, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. All right, so starting off at number four, we got Set's Q Knuckle Down. Though all of Set's abilities have some sort of purpose in this kit, his Q probably has the least versatility of the four because it can really do two things either run faster or you reset your auto attack, and that's pretty much it. Now, don't get me wrong, it's really nice to farm with, especially considering Set's kind of got that one two timing for his auto attacks, and it's super helpful to have when you're trying to set up one of those big ults. But outside of that, it doesn't really do too much else. I mean, it gives a burst of move speed, as I mentioned, but unless you're playing at someone with like practically no mobility, it's really not going to do too much for you. Plus, we all know that ACs are even getting mobility nowadays, so it's pretty tame considering some of the abilities we've seen over the past couple of seasons. I'm looking at you, Samira and Akshan. Alright, so moving on to number three, we got Set's Ultimate, the Showstopper. And now, just a reminder, this is a ranking on how well I think the ability is designed and not necessarily how powerful they are. Because, boy, this ult can pack some damage. But with that being said, it's pretty simple to use. It's a literal point and click. And not to mention, I'm putting it above knuckle down just because it synergizes with its E incredibly well, and that will set it up for his W later on. What's so great about this ability is it really shows set simplicity in its design. It really establishes as an easy front to back fighter, and it also allows for him to set up his E really well by pulling everyone in, and then hitting them with that big true damage on the W right after. And lastly, you could argue it's a level of skill expression as well, because you pretty much throw yourself into the entire enemy team to the point of no return half the time. And that's never been an issue for me ever. Nevertheless, it's a perfect ability for those who want to coin flip their solo queue games. Did I, did I write that? No, I didn't write that. Well, I'm not saying you should throw your games at what I'm saying is you should definitely. All right, next up, we got Set's most infamous ability and believe it or not, it's not his E. Because ladies and gentlemen, coming in at our number two spot, we got Set's W, Haymaker. But but Span, I've seen this ability do like 3,000 true damage to my whole team and I lost my ranked promos because of it. Can't be that well designed, right? Well, I'm glad you brought that up because that's actually a common misunderstanding about this ability. Now, can it do a lot of damage? <laughs> yes. Absolutely yes. However, Set's pretty much a sitting duck when he doesn't have it up. I mean, his shield can buy him some time, sure, but what I like about this ability a lot more than the previous two is that it allows for a lot more skill expression. You really only have a small window of a couple seconds to choose whether you want to use this ability as a shield, damage, a mix of both, or to save it all together in case you take more damage in a few seconds later. But if he's fed, it does so much damage. Well, what carry doesn't do a lot of damage when they're fed. Oh yeah, I guess that's a good point. Now this is Set's most crucial ability, and it's placed on a skill shot of all things. Now granted, it's pretty hard to miss this skill shot, but if you don't hit it correctly, you're kinda in big trouble. For such a straightforward ability, it has a surprising amount of versatility that comes with it, so that's why I'm putting it in second. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just gaslighting people into thinking Set's balanced. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit stop recording. And before we get into Set's best designed ability, let me know what your rankings are down in the comments below. I'm reading every single one. I would love to hear your feedback on it. Also, if you've enjoyed the video so far, a subscription to the channel would be greatly appreciated. It only takes like three seconds to do. I'd love to have you back. And plus, you'll never miss an upload when they happen. And lastly, I stream on Twitch and upload highlights of it on my second channel as well. So if either of those interest you guys, links are down below in the description. And with that being said, let's get into Set's best designed ability, his E. Facebreaker. What I think makes Facebreaker such a well-designed ability is that it's useful both in 1v1s and in team fights. And not only that, but it also rewards good awareness and usage from the player. Ultimately, what I like about this ability so much is that it's basic but skill expressive and it's also not very frustrating to play against. I mean, I've never heard someone go, Dude, Set's E is so busted. It's a one second slow or stunt. This is so unbalanced. I don't know how this got into the game. Also, what's so nice about this ability is that simplicity allows the better player to either hit the ability or avoid the ability altogether in a fight. There's no mind game like Echoes where it's like, oh, he positioned differently. That means I have to be careful in case he W. It's really as simple as saying, okay, set can me. When I get close to him, I should be aware of that. Not to mention it combos both with W and R super well. You can guarantee the true damage on the W, and for your R, after you slow everyone as I already mentioned, you just pull them right back in. 
and it's the only ability where he says the name of it when he casts it. So bonus points there. And so those are my rankings for this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Once again, the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the content, feel free to stop by on my Twitch. And if I'm not live, you can drop a follow. You'll know right the second when I go live. So you can stop by. We can keep on chatting. With that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys soon. Later.